Down in my wrist, that size not fit Oh, she said she need a hero on my way JK, psych bitch, that ass on my chest Only stand for making profit I'm a long ranger, five, six, no sidekicks Ten toes down in my wrist, size not fit Say she need a hero on my way JK, psych bitch, that ass on my chest Stand for me Sauce it up. JK, really? Okay, welcome back to this tutorial. I'm now just gonna show you how to sync your montage like this. Um, you just want to open up your After Effects, you need After Effects for this And then just right click and press import and just import your clips, the clips you want Just hold them with shift And when you imported all your clips, make sure they are over here And then drag the song, double click it And just go to, um, it will be like the whole thing will be green like this and Just play it And just search for a part where you want the video to start Song. I already did this so I want my song to start like over here like here so I press this icon and then I go where I want the song to end like over here and then I press this one no just drag the clip and then paste it in here When it's like this, ja, um, just press this, this, these three arrows, and then you have this. You can zoom in, and no search for the parts where the beat drops. Like for me, it's like over here. So just go on this thing, press on something clear, and then press star on your numpad. So you place a marker. And now do this for every beat drop. So you have like markers all over there. I already did this for you, so I'm just gonna go over here. And as you can see, I already placed here over all, everywhere markers. Um, now you just wanna grab your first clip, drag it over your sound. And now press, if the clip is too long, or if you have something which you don't want to be in the clip, also use this with these two icons here. But I already cut it perfectly, so I don't have to cut anything out. Um, now you just want to right click your clip. Right click it and go to enable time remapping like this. Then gr grab this little keyframe and paste it on your first marker. Um, no, you just want to take it, select both of them, press F9, so you easy ease them, and then go to your graph editor. Now you should see a curve like this. Go to the first keyframe, press it, and now take this line up. Then go to the other one and take this line, line down. As you can see, you can now get a super smooth slow mo. Perfect. No, just drag the second clip, drag it right over here and make sure it starts exactly at the end where the other one ended. For this one I'm gonna use two keyframes. Um, just zoom out. Um, enable time remapping again. And now we just wanna go to like a bit before the half, like over this. Press another thing of this and now place them perfectly under the mark under your markers again. Um, creating an intro like this won't take that long. The syncing part will only take like five minutes 
so yes you can create intros like this really fast and this are the auto won't be that long then easy ease them again go again to your time editor now you're free but it's exactly the same just drag this down this up this up and this one down now we play this and as you can see it will look super cool Yes, I will also um, upload this to YouTube. I'm gonna make it a bit harder, so it's like this. Nice. And now you can basically do this for everything. I would, if I would use a song, I would use this one, Space Dash. It's so cool. You know, just play it. And then you can just do this for everything and then it will look like this. And now there's just one more thing you definitely have to add. And these are these black bars. I'm also gonna show you how I do them. Just create a new layer, make it a solid, make the solid go black. Press our key on your keyboard. And now take this and make the keyboard a lot and this a lot smaller. And now you can just take this one and drag it to the top. Like this. Copy it. Oh, I didn't copy it. Just go on your layer like here. Ctrl Z, Ctrl V, Ctrl Z, Ctrl V. And then drag it down. Now you also have some cool black bars. Now you just wanna go to like over here, press and just open both of them up, go to transform and keyframe their positions, and then go to the beginning of the first clip, go drag it out, then go to this one, so drag this one out, and as you can see now, the, the black bars just move in really cool. Let's go. Let's go guys. It's looking nice in my opinion. And this is already everything for the syncing part. As you can see it's that easy. And in the next part I'm just gonna show you how to add like these super cool shakes. These super cool shakes here. And in the last part I'm also gonna show you how to add like a CC like this.